Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. First of all, Dorkly has... I feel like this is a weekly feature. I should just dedicate one video to the funny stuff Dorkly does with Nintendo characters. But this one, it's specifically Pokemon. They're really into Pokemon, and why not? So this one is why a video about why Pokemon are more dangerous than guns and... It's true, and it's hilarious, so definitely check this video out, it's pretty funny, there's a link for you down below. Our next story is about Michelle Ancel, uh, the creator of Rayman. Now, you might remember last week I was talking about the fact that he's going to be creating a level that is um, for Super Mario Maker, and so this is a very long interview. Um, where we find out his design philosophy and why he really likes Super Mario Maker and all kinds of interesting tidbits. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, there's a link for you down below. And then finally, the controversy, the big controversy that occurred last week, which was a person from Nintendo's Treehouse. Um, in case you don't know what the Treehouse is, it's kind of just Nintendo's fancy name for their localization team. So these are the people in North America who are tasked with not necessarily the translation. The translation is its own separate thing. They're tasked with sort of, after translating it from Japanese to English, translating it from English into better English, into putting it in our own cultural context in this particular location. That's why it's called localization, because it's all about the location the game is at. So like a joke or a reference to something that would make sense back in Japan, that would not make sense over here, they've got to come up with a brand new reference that does make sense here, that's equivalent to the one in Japan, but isn't a literal translation, if that makes any sense. So, in any case, one of the people who is from Treehouse was on a podcast, um, and this wasn't like a big podcast that most people know about or have heard about. This is a podcast that I'd never heard of before. It's been described as a small potatoes podcast. So, um, so I don't think he thought that so many people were going to hear what he had to say, but in case you don't know this, Nintendo's employees are, I don't know if a non-disclosure agreement is the right, I'm sure they must be under a non-disclosure agreement, but they cannot talk, it's a company policy, they cannot talk to media about games that are in development or games that they're localizing. And I, so we don't know exactly why, but shortly after this podcast, he was fired uh, by Nintendo. Um, it obviously had something to do with something that he said during the podcast, and he said a lot of things during the podcast that are atypical of things that you would ever hear a spokesperson from Nintendo saying. When I listened to the podcast, uh, I've got to say that he ruffled my feathers a little bit with his attitude. Um, he had this attitude like, how dare the fans question Nintendo? Uh, you can't be a fan if you're going to question Nintendo. He was referencing specifically things like um, people who have said, you know, Wii U, the name Wii U is really not good. It's not marketable. It, it confuses people. It confuses stores. Tons of stores have no idea that the Wii U is a new console. They think it's just a tablet for the Wii. Uh, there was that famous Target advertisement I showed you guys a while back, and various other stores making the same mistake. And he got very antagonistic about it in the podcast when he was asked, like, don't you think the name Wii U is confusing? And he was like, no, that's ridiculous. And so he goes on and on and on about how that's something that they could have never predicted. And it's like, really? Because the very first time I heard the words Wii U, I thought, People are going to get confused. That's something that they could have never predicted. And uh, so, I don't know, he, he just had a very antagonistic, against the fans sort of tone, so maybe that's why he got fired. Maybe Nintendo felt like he wasn't representing the way they want to be portrayed as feeling about their fans. Um, and then, the hilarious thing though is, so after all this rant and raving, he goes on defending the Wii U name. Then, he tells the story about how his own mother uh, was very confused about exactly that. She said, oh, I just buy this controller and then I can play the Wii U games? And he was like, so I guess there is some confusion, but it, in any case, he was fired. So that's always sad that somebody gets fired, but 
We don't know exactly why, and it seems like he possibly might have broken his non-disclosure agreement, so that would be why. Anyways, that is it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye, guys.